Welcome back. I hope you are doing well. Today we are going to study force and see the types of forces. So let's get started with the definition of force. A force is a push or pull you put an object resulting from the object's interaction with another object. Force is an effect can change start a motion, stop a motion, change the speed or direction of a motion, change the shape or size of a body. The unit of force is Newton and represent with the big letter N. We can measure force by using a spring scale or a dynamometer. The concept of force was originally defined by Sir Isaac Newton's laws of motion. And his third law of motion states that if there are two objects at interaction, for each action there is an equal and opposite reaction as a consequence of this interaction. To understand better, as an example, I would like to show you a very short footage about action and reaction. Let's see the video first and I will explain to you later. What happens here is that it seems there are four identical objects but one of them is fixed into concrete. When all of these three workers applied forces on objects with an order, the objects are accepting this action and they start a motion as a response of this interaction. However, that because the final object is fixed into concrete, it didn't accept this action or we can say that the applied force is not strong enough to make the object rolling. Therefore, poor guy didn't see that coming and fell on the floor. Now, let's talk about the types of forces. There are two types of forces in the universe, contact and non-contact. Contact forces, as the name implies, take place when objects touch each other, such as kicking a ball. One object touches the other object, like your foot touches the ball. Non-contact forces are those where objects do not touch each other. Contact forces can be classified according to six different types. Tensional force, such as a rope being pulled tight. The tension on the rope is a tensional force. Spring, such as the force exerted when you compress two ends of a spring. Normal reaction force, where one body provides a reaction against a force exerted upon it, such as a ball bouncing on a blacktop or a book on a table. Friction force, the force exerted when an object moves across another, such as ball rolling over floor. Friction force is always in the opposite direction of the motion, and it depends on two things. First, the weight of the object and the roughness of the surface. Air friction force, the friction that occurs when an object, such as a ball, moves through in the air or parachuting in the air. This is a picture from Fethiye, Turkey on Dead Sea and you will see a physics teacher experiencing the drag force up in the air. Thanks to air friction, we can jump from high mountains and land on beach. Weight. Weight is also a kind of force where a body is pulled toward the center of the earth due to gravity. And it's another word for the weight is force of gravity. Before continuing with non-contact forces, let me explain the differences between mass and weight. Mass is the amount of matter, weight is the force on matter. The unit of mass is kilogram, the unit of weight is newton. Mass is same everywhere in the universe, but weight can change from place to place. For example, a person's weight will change in different planets since it depends on the planet's gravitational force. We can measure mass by an equal arm balance and we can measure weight by using a spring scale. Okay, let's solve the example together. It's about mass and weight. First of all, we have to know the formula of weight. Weight is equal to mass times gravity. And the example says, what is the mass of a person weighing 550 Newton? And gravity is given as 10 Newton per kilogram. So we are trying to find the mass here. Weight is equal to mass times gravity. If I extract mass from here, 
mass is equal to weight divided by gravity. And weight was 550 Newton divided by 10 Newton per kilogram. As you can see, I can cancel out Newtons. So from here, I can find mass as 55 kilogram. Okay, let's continue with non-contact forces. Non-contact forces can be classified according to the three types. Magnetic force, which occurs due to magnetic properties of two bodies, such as the opposite poles of two magnets being attracted to each other. Electrostatic force, which is due to the electrical charges present in two bodies, just like in the comb and piece of paper experiment. Gravitational force, every object in the universe pulls other objects, and this is called gravitational force. G. Gravitational force depends on two things. First, the masses of the object and the distance between them. And finally, we will look at the combining forces and the lesson will be finished. Before beginning the combining forces, we should know what is a resultant force or with the other name, what is a net force. A single force which has the same effect as two or more forces acting together is called a resultant force. In combining forces, the essential element is the magnitude and more specifically the direction of forces. And we must also decide a reference point. Let's say if the object goes right, it's positive, and if the object goes left, it's negative. There are two operations in combining forces, adding forces and subtracting forces. The first one is adding forces. As you can see on the picture, there is a guy pulling the box to the right side with a force of F. So the resultant force is just F because there is no other force. However, if we add one more person here, the resultant force will become F plus F to F because the force we just added has also same magnitude and same direction. Okay, the other one is subtracting forces. As you can see on the picture, two guys pulling the box in the opposite direction. The, one, the first one is pulling the right side and the other one pulling to the left side. But again, if we add one more person to the right side, the resultant force become 2F minus F, F. The resultant force will become F. Okay, that's enough for today. Thank you for joining me. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel. If you liked the video so far, please press the like button. Until the next time, see ya.